Well, today we are inside in the uh, inside el electronics uh, workbench. Our project this time is to completely completely replace one of these Wabasto ECUs with nothing that has any programming in it required whatsoever. We're going purely uh, electromechanical on this one. And uh, this is the first video in which I'll just be showing you what parts I've bought and you can buy and what my plan is for it. And then you can either follow along at home or in your workshop or just watch the series as it progresses. And we'll hopefully have, well, no, we will have a working product by the end of it, which will require no programming, no Arduinos, no CECUs, no pick chips, none of that. So, what this is all based around is this great big fucking four, well, technically five position switch here, in which my plan is to have, can you see it's that? It's mostly shot. So, zero would be off, one would be the cooling down cycle, two would be glow plug and start up cycle, three would be low, four would be high. That's going to be the control mechanism. That's going to make all your decisions for you. Zero is off. A glow, well, obviously, cool. Cool down will be that position because you're going to put it in a cool down before you turn it fully off. And then position two will bring on the glow plug and the fuel pump and the fan all nice and slowly to get it started. Once it's started manually, you'll just have to listen for it. Put it in a low, sets the pump hertz to low hertz and the fan speed to the appropriate fan speed and then 4 is full power which will be whatever hertz frequency we set for the pump and the same for the fan so that is a 4 position, 5 position cam switch uh, from Amazon I'll leave an Amazon link for all of these things in the description they may or may not be affiliate links that might help me pay for some of the £200 worth of previous components that we bought for their Basto boards that didn't work. Well, hey, that's that's getting off the topic. So I bought a big box of assorted resistors because we will need some resistors and I thought it's best just to have all of the resistors you could possibly require but and that's they, like again they're cheap just buy them you can have them in stock. Same as we need some diodes so I just bought a multi-pack of all the kinds of diodes that we could ever possibly need because Reasons, you never know when you going to need them. MOSFETs, little bag of MOSFETs because we're going to need them for running the fuel pump and the fan and perhaps the glow plug if we uh, decide to go with that route as well. But some of them, we might need heat sinks for them as well, but that's kind of just to screw them onto a, you know, a strip of aluminium to let them dissipate heat. But hey, we might not need that. The kind of most important part that we're going to be working with are these uh, 555 microchip based uh, pulse width modulation modules. Basically, you give these uh, 12 volts and depending on where you put this jumper and twiddle these knobs, you get a pulse width modulation frequency output that is both adjustable in the pulse length and the spacing of the length. So we can control our pump from, you know, 1 to 5 hertz to make the pump pump. Uh, we can control our fan speed from, you know, low to high. And my plan for this is to have each switch setting is going to have a completely separate set of modules. So cool down, where we only need a fan running, is going to have one of these and a MOSFET to run the fan. Uh, the lighting stage is going to have one for the fuel pump and one for the fan and that's going to be and another set of MOSFETs to uh, control that that's going to be that and then low is going to have another one for the fuel pump and the van and same as high is going to have there's, look, they come as uh, a five pack when you buy them on Amazon they come with a five pack of them and some wires for well probably connected to your Arduino, but we're not doing that, so we don't... Well, we could use those wires, they're handy for signal wires, but they come as a five pack, and we will just keep using them. They are so cheap, we can use them, break them, and throw them away. And that 
that is that is part of the plan. Like, if anything fails in this setup, you can just take the component out, throw it away, and place it in another one and retune. There's there's no there's no program and there's no ECUs. There's no feedback. There's no. This is going to be adjusted by screwdrivers. We're we're going to be twiddling these screwdrivers to tune things in. This is going to be dialed in manually. Uh, what else? Right, so we'll have lots of these 555 controllers and to run the fans and the fuel pump. Each one separate and it'll it'll be a mess of wires until we do it nice and tidily. But we will get there. And the other thing that I bought is these, um, oh you've seen them before, they, well these ones aren't Wago ones, these are uh, United Electrical Products, they are a Wago clone, I got mine from Toolstation of all places, Toolstation, yes, but as you'll see we'll be putting lots of wires together to do one job and strictly these aren't necessary and you could just solder all the wires together or join them via other means, but this is a much neater way of doing it to start with. Until we, well, perhaps build something better. But hey, do we do we really need to? I mean, is does it have to look nice if it functions? No, no, I don't think so. So, uh, so these aren't an well, man, you can get them on Amazon, but they were much cheaper from your local tool station. And you'll need various uh, bits of wire. And thankfully, one of us has desecrated an old Subaru and has. Lots of various colours of wiring to uh, play with. And uh, that's what I'm going to use for my wiring. I've got lots of scrap wire and also all this signal wire from the 555 boards. So that is the plan. So just to run over again briefly, one big switch will have outputs going to lots of these 555 modules and MOSFETs. And then in turn, that will connect to the fuel pump, the fan motor, and the glow plug. And that'll be it. There will be no ECU, there will be no temperature control, there will be no feedback of any kind, there's no programming, there are no chips, well, chips except the 555s on the modules, but again, if something was to fail, it's not a multi hundred pound uh, ECU, it is a mm, sub two pound module or like a 50 pence. I don't even think they are 50 pence MOSFET, which is going to fail. And then we'll just replace it and it'll still work. And hopefully, for those of you that perhaps don't like programming or you don't have access to a computer for the programming or, you know, you, or, or even ordering the PCBs of PCBWay or DLC PCB, if you don't have access to it, if you can buy all these bits from Amazon, you can build a heater controller and you can make your old, perhaps knackered uh, Wabasto uh, work. The other thing is, this should work in the Chinese diesel heater as well. Basically, anything that's got a fan and a fuel pump and a glow plug, this heater, well, this um, controller will be able to control it. There's no, there's no reason it can't because it doesn't care about body temperature because you're going to set it manually. Uh, of course, uh, we're going to use the CO2 meter, if you have a CO2 meter, and then we can dial it right in to be perfect burning for your application. And once it's all set up, so that that is my plan. I will leave, let's say, a list of all the bits I've bought from Amazon in the description, uh, so you can buy the bits if you want, because it's going to work. There's there's none of this not working like the other bits. This is going to work. Is I'm giving you my two thumbs up, guaranteed. This will work by the end of this project. Questions, comments, leave them down below and I'll go read and respond. Uh, if you've got any good suggestions or good uh, comments, tips you want to add to this project, now's your time to do it. But it should hopefully be progressing quite quickly. And I'm not going to do once a week uploads for this one. I'm just going to kind of like upload it as I finish a bit of it and, and we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for watching. Comment, question down below, all the usual, everything like that. Go. Cool.